Transferring the correct angle from your subject to your drawing is one of the most important skills an artist can learn to create accurate drawings. And once you do, you'll gain confidence to draw anything. In this video, we're going to learn how to transfer angles, working from life as well as from a photograph. In a past video, I showed you how to measure when we work from life by holding a pencil or brush with your arms straight out where you can compare vertical and horizontal points on your subject. We'll use this same process to find the angles, using what is called the windshield wiper method. You'll need a pencil or some type of thin straight object. Pretend there's a pane of glass between you and what you're drawing. Hold your pencil vertical and then wipe the imaginary pane of glass until your pencil matches the angle on what you are drawing. To get the angle right, it's important that you keep your pencil flat against the imaginary glass. Don't tilt your hand forward. Once you find the angle, keep your hand in that same position and transfer the angle to your paper. If you transfer the angles correctly, you'll be drawing in perspective without having to mark vanishing points on a horizon line. We can also use angles to envelope the objects and place them in the correct proportion to each other. Here I can see where the angle is from the box out to the marble, the marble back to the orange, and then the angle from the orange back to the box. You can also use angles to capture gesture. This orange has been around for a little while and it's a bit wonky. So here I can see it has a somewhat of a tilt. So I'm going to draw the tilt and then draw around that line. Let's see how this works. To start, I begin by placing the verticals where I think they'll go. First, I find the angle from the top of the box to the marbles, just so I know I can fit the composition on the paper. Then I begin to construct the box by placing the angles of the right side and the top and I double check my angles. Right now I'm keeping my lines light. The lines will get darker as I become more and more certain of my placements. As I build the box, you'll see that my pencil doesn't always line up with the angle. My view and the view of the camera lens are slightly different. I could get a much neater and precise drawing by using a ruler but learning how to draw the angles free hands helps develop my drawing skills. If you practice transferring angles, you'll find that you get better at recognizing them and placing them correctly. Just like any skill, the more you practice, the better you'll get. I continue until I have the box, and then I check my drawing by comparing important reference points, like corners and where they intersect on the box, using vertical and horizontal lines. It's this cross-checking of measurements that helps me correct when I'm off. I place the envelope around the other objects and then compare the placements to the box. Once one object is placed, everything else is drawn in comparison with that object. Now that the drawing is set, I can add value to give the work even more dimension. Learning to use the windshield wiper method of transferring angles is an easy way to draw anything you want from life. Next, let's look at photos. It is the same process, but much easier because we're transferring from flat surface to flat surface. Again, I start with the verticals before I place the angles. If I can measure how far apart the verticals are from each other, it just makes it easier to attach the angles to them. I also use horizontal comparisons to see where the side of the building joins the front and how tall the lighthouse is in comparison to the rest of the house. Let's speed up this drawing a bit. As I place more angles, I'm constantly cross-checking the drawing by comparing horizontal and vertical points to see how they line up with the reference. This helps keep my drawing accurate. Adding in this foliage here, I can see it's an important part of the composition and how the shadow has a specific angle as it falls onto the grass. 
So there you go. It's pretty simple, really. It's just a matter of practice and trusting what you see. After a while, you'll get good at eyeballing angles, and you can use the windshield wiper just to check your work. This skill will help you with perspective, placement, and gesture, and it will give you the confidence to draw and paint any subject you like. I used it in this landscape to find the relationship of the top of the tallest tree to the other trees around it. Here, I found the tilt of the head in my daughter's portrait. Learn to draw what you really see and not what you think you see by learning to find and transfer angles. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like more in depth lessons, please visit my Patreon site, The Painter's Classroom, where for $5 a month you get lessons in the form of videos, blogs, and handouts. Plus, you get your art questions answered. See you there!